It's 929, actually a little ahead of schedule today. But time to present Ask the Lawyer with Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. Just like we do every Wednesday at this time. Seeing if maybe today's the day you get an answer to your question. If you'd like to submit a question because you've always been confused about something in the law. Well, I'll tell you how to go about that momentarily as well. But first, would you please help me welcome Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. Good morning, Bruce. Good morning, Todd. How are you doing this beautiful morning? Terrific. Weather's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, now we know why all the um, people love to come to visit Southwest Florida. I mean, you look all over the rest of the country where things are pretty nasty right now. We've got it in the 80s and even in the nighttime, only dipping down into the 60s. That's looking pretty good. It's beautiful. Yeah. Well, I know that's one of the reasons that you stay put where you are. That plus your 50 plus years. Is it 52 now? Years experience? It's 52 and I'm working on my second 50. There you go. In the area, serving the legal community, that's another big reason. And that's why we come to you when it comes to these kinds of questions like the one we have today. It's sad to see somebody having kind of uh, some difficulties close to the holiday season, but... You know, when it comes to the law, the calendar kind of goes out the window, doesn't it? It sure does. All right. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. That's okay. I just want to go ahead and share the uh, email with you if you're ready for that. I am ready. All right, let's dive right in. It says, while shopping in a large discount department store, my mother was struck from behind by two large boxes, which were part of a Christmas display. While waiting for paramedics to arrive, a clerk told my mother that this was the third time something had fallen from the display, which had been put up by one of the store's vendors. My mother spent three days in the hospital and will need knee replacement surgery due to the fall. The store's corporate offices are saying they're not responsible for the accident because it was set up by one of their vendors. We are getting nowhere with the company. Could a lawyer help us? You see these displays almost every store you go into, and they seem to get bigger and more dramatic every year. One of them comes crashing down. It could really hurt you, Bruce. So what do you make of something like this? Well, there are several very interesting observations. Number one is, as you just pointed out, this type of year they're putting up all kind of um, displays Mm -hmm. to sell their wares, and you have to be extra cautious because there's more people in the store. True. Um, the interesting thing is when you go to a store, the store has to provide you with a safe place to shop. Uh-huh. And and it's their duty, whether it's an outside vendor or one of their employees, they have to make sure it's safe. Okay. There are notice that there were problems before, so they can't get out of liability to say, it's not me. Go over and see them. They're responsible if, if they want to um, go after the uh, vendor mm-hmm. uh, because they had to pay out to the injured person. Okay. That's up to them. Um, also, this is a very good example of why it's so important to immediately contact an experienced personal injury lawyer because the first thing a lawyer should do is put the store on notice to preserve any type of surveillance tapes. Oh. Because most stores have surveillance tapes all the time, Uh and they regularly, you know, dispose of them after a certain period of time. Uh So it's, it's important to contact a personal injury lawyer right away so that lawyer could put the store on notice so the store doesn't uh, right, right. You know, throw they, away the tape or let the tape, you know, expire. Or the computer file or whatever it is. Sure, sure. And they, they say that most of us are on video somewhere in our daily travels like 60 times a day on average. Well, this is one of those occasions where that could be very helpful. It, it sure can. And, um, you know, it, it would... The old adage is a picture's worth a thousand words. If you could see yeah. on video what actually happened, it would be very helpful to the case. Right, right. Well, um, this 
is also one of those things where maybe an investigator could dig up witnesses? Absolutely. Other employees in the store or the vendor themselves or whatever could be uh, very valuable in something like this, I would think. But, uh, you know, memories start to fade and people tend to disappear off the radar if you wait too long. This is another example of move quickly. It, it is, and it's important to move quickly to be able to help someone who was so severely yeah. injured because of the store's negligence. A knee replacement is not a fun thing during the holidays and certainly going to be painful for a rehab and recovery. So, Bruce... I think you've given a little uh, ray of hope here, though. We appreciate that. Well, it's my pleasure. As always, I enjoy our Wednesday mornings. It helps tease my brain. <laughs> and we'll keep doing so and look forward to talking to you next week. Thank you. Okay, Bruce. You take care. Bye. Say hi to the family. Bye-bye. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up again for Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. And the answer of the week, if you'd like to submit a question for future consideration, all you have to do is go to our website and type Bruce into the keyword search box. You'll go exactly to the right place to type in a, a question for consideration. Now, if you're in a situation like we just described, I wouldn't wait to see if it gets answered on the radio. Call the Port Charlotte Office of Associates and Bruce L. Shiner today. Now, while you're thinking of it, 941-743-7777. You heard Bruce say time is of the essence in a situation like this. So call 941-743-7777 and tell them that Todd Matthews sent you from Kicks Country 92.9.